Hey guys, it's Johnny with MobileTechVideos.com with another how-to video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to route your HTC Evo 4G for Sprint. This is for a completely stock phone. If you go into your menu and your settings and go to about phone you can see that that is completely stock. We're going to go ahead the first thing that we need to do is go into your applications make sure that fast boot is turned off and go into development turn on USB debugging little screen is going to pop up allow USB debugging go ahead and click OK go back to your home screen next thing you need to do is actually on the computer let's hop over to the computer and take a look alright so now that we're on the computer you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go to the revolutionary website that's revolutionary.io um, you're then gonna go ahead and scroll down and you're gonna click download for windows as soon as you do that this blue box will pop up and this is the beta key we're gonna go ahead and need that um, once you do that, once you extract the file, I recommend extracting to your desktop, which you can see I have done here. Um, you're going to save the file and extract it. Um, then we want to go ahead and plug in the phone. Take your phone, simply plug it in to your computer. Make sure that it shows charge only. And then you are going to go to your file that you downloaded and extracted. Go ahead and open it up. And you're going to click on Revolutionary. Go ahead and run that. That is automatically going to tell you your serial number. You need to go ahead and copy that. Um, because we're still going to use that website. So if you click up here, you can right click up on that little icon. You can go to Edit, Mark highlight that section hit enter which copies it we're then going to pull up that website again we're going to go and select your operating system which is windows select the HTC Evo 4G and then paste in your serial number the next thing that we need to do is figure out our H boot and for that we are going to take the phone and unplug it. You are then going to power off your device like you normally would. Alright, so once you go ahead and you power off your phone, you are then going to hold the volume down key and the power key until your H boot screen turns on. That is what your H boot screen looks like. You should see the little Android guys down there on the skateboards. And then up at the top, it's going to tell you H boot and then the number. So we're at H boot 2.16.001 for the Sprint um, HTC Evo 4G. So we're going to go ahead and restart the phone. So click the power button and then scroll down to reboot. And the phone will go ahead and reboot. We need to jump back on the computer now. Alright, now that we know our HBoot version, we have our serial number copied. We're going to go ahead and select HBoot 2.16.001. As you can hear, my phone is rebooting. And then from that, we're going to go ahead and click Generate Key. We now have our beta key. I highly recommend copying this and saving this somewhere so you don't need to go through this process all the time. Go ahead right click copy that bring the the revolutionary executable DOS window back open we are then going to take our phone now that it's powered back on we're going to go ahead and plug it back in so 
So once you're plugged back in, make sure that it's on charge only. And then it says to enter the beta key. All right, so once you copy down that beta key, we're then gonna go up here, right click, edit, paste, Go ahead and press enter and it should start. It says zergy root. This might take a minute or so. If everything goes okay, it'll go through everything. And uh, if not, you'll see an error. So we're gonna go ahead and watch it and let it do its thing. All right, as you can see, it says root acquired, um, cleaning up, rebooting into fastboot. And you know that it's gonna work when it says life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade, make life take the lemons back. And then so it's booting into fastboot with the little Android guys there. It's doing the bootloader, it's rebooting one more time. Okay guys, once you go through the whole thing, you're gonna get the question at the very end, do you want to download internet connection required uh, clockwork recovery? You're gonna wanna hit yes, uh, I do apologize. I've, I've flashed the phone already, so then my screen is saying that it's already S off. That's the goal, you want it to be S off. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click yes, hit enter, and then it's gonna download uh, clockwork recovery mod. It'll reboot your phone into fast boot, uh, which is your H boot recovery. Um, once you do that, then uh, it, it'll tell you if it successfully did it or not. Um, if that's the case, if it's successful, then you'll have, you can see that it's flashing success. That means I am 100% rooted and ready to go. It closes down automatically if you're successful. Congratulations. Your HTC Evo 4G is now rooted with S off. Um, let's take a look at the phone. So you can see it's loading up. still looks perfectly stock. It's still going to be stock everything except for it is rooted with security or S off. Um, and you do have um, clockwork mod recovery uh, on here so then if we power off the phone go ahead and shut that off it's going to take a second to shut down here Hold down your volume down and your power button together and it should load into your H-boot. Um, scroll down to recovery. Um, it's going to go through a process really quick here. Scroll down using the volume down button to recovery and then should launch the clockwork recovery uh, mod. Alright guys, so you can see that once it lo loads in, it's going to be revolutionary across the bottom. Uh, it's going to be Clockwork Mod um, version 4.0.1.4. From here, we can now flash whatever kind of ROMs we want. Really, you know, bring your HTC Evo 4G from Sprint to life. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, check us out at mobiletechvideos.com. 
and most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest update videos. Hope to see you on the next video as a subscribed user. Thanks for watching.